Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you can see, we are supposed to keep out of this Bin 77 map. A while ago, Bin 77's ma- uh, his avatar used to be the buzzer from the Talus Principle, but now it's just a black square, I guess. But this is Flying High by Bin 77. Also worked on it with Joker, I guess, for the, the actual sphere. It's an easy medium map, although it's from 2014, so easy medium actually means it's very easy. Alright. Well, hold on a second. I didn't want to bounce on that. There we go. Interesting. Did you look at that? Huh. Is this all I have to work with? Oh, I see. I see! Okay, I have these portals backwards now. I need this one up here, and this one right here. There we go. Gotcha. Where to next? Alright, we're over here now. That's pretty straightforward. Walking on along some catwalks. Looks like the exit's up there. Oh, well, we have a fizzler here. Okay. There's a button up there. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. Blah blah blah. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras. That sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm on the beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grip. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Okay, Cave, whatever you say. Oh, come on. Let's try that again. What? Come on, that should totally work. Do I need to hit space or something? What? Why is this not working? Am I losing my mind here? This should totally work, right? There's a whole area over here, I guess. What's over here? Another one of these! Huh? What? Uh, are you serious right now? Yeah, are you serious? Um... What just happened? Did I, like, skip the entire map by doing something really obvious that everybody would try? Was this map even tested? Let's try this one more time. That one doesn't work for some reason, but the one by the exit does. Weird. Apparently this is what we're supposed to be using. But, uh, you can just skip it. Okay.
Apparently a cube drops in here at some point. Interesting. The music stopped, unfortunately. Because I triggered the exit, I guess, but, uh... How might one... get over here? Whoa! Let's not have that happen, please! <laughs> I don't know why that keeps happening. That's weird. Um... Now I need to solve the actual puzzle that I can't figure out. That's not portal- oh, that's portal though! Okay, that makes some sense. <laughs> Infinite loop. Does that script my path? Almost. Feels like it, doesn't it? Huh. Well, anyway. Now that we've gotten that taken care of. Let's try doing this now, finally. Yeah, this is how we're supposed to do that. That drops a cube. I guess we put said cube on said button, right? Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Why didn't I put it on the button? I was there! <laughs> I'm so distracted right now by the fact that I broke this map. Right. Over here. Put the cube on the button. It even drops it in the area where we need to put it. Why does it do that? Like, why is it not just a permanent button? Who knows. I guess as an anti-trapping situation. Right, I know why. Okay, so. Let's do this. There we go. Then we can put it on there. I guess this is the simplest approach, instead of teaching toggle buttons or whatever. And then we can do this. Yeah, that's how we're supposed to do this part. Not by breaking the map, but by doing it the intended way. Alright. <laughs> right, well, as always, Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!